Next, we're going to talk about ICMP, um, the Internet Control Message Protocol. Um, as I said, ICMP is kind of this little helper for IP. It allows the network level to send messages to itself. Uh, so it allows routers to communicate, to signal each other, or routers and host, to communicate network level information to each other. This would be things like error reporting, like host unreachable, or port unreachable protocol, um, bad protocol, things like that. It's slightly above IP. IP. ICMP messages are carried in IP datagrams, but it's not really a transport layer. It's just this special helper layer that's right above IP. You can see here ICMP messages have a type and a code, and they also have the first eight bytes of the datagram that cause the error. Um, and maybe you've seen some, some of these kinds of messages before. If you, when, when errors happen at IP, ICMP is the protocol that's used to send messages back to say, hey, something bad is going on here. Like, you're trying to reach a port that's not reachable on this computer or this host. So it's giving you an error message. Um, this source quench message is kind of interesting. Um, it's really used, it would have been used for congestion control at the network layer, but nobody used it. It's not used. So it's sort of like saying, hey, man, I'm overwhelmed. Stop, stop sending me stuff because I'm overwhelmed. Congestion control at the router, yeah. Um, this time to live expired is an important message. That's what happens if, remember that TTL field when it gets decremented each hop? When it finally reaches zero, it gets dropped, um, but it doesn't just drop it like, and not tell anybody. ICMP sends a message back to say, hey, I dropped your packet because it's time to live expired, so you can know about it. Uh, and that's what this slide talks about. We looked at Traceroute um, a couple of weeks ago. Remember Traceroute? You can see all the hops. Traceroute works using ICMP. Um, Traceroute sends a series of UDP segments to the destination with a time to live in the datagram incremented up each time. So we, when we set time to live equal to one, it's only going to get one hop away before it expires. When it expires, it'll see um, the router will send back an ICMP message saying the time to live expired. When the source receives that message, you can compute the round trip time that it took to get that UDP packet there and then to get the message back. Make sense? Then we do the same thing again with time to live equal to two, and then three, and then four, and then five, all the way until the, the packet successfully arrives or the host is unreachable. Um, but we actually do get to the host to get this ICMP message. So this type three, code three, is saying that we, the packet got to the, the host that you specified, but you couldn't, um, but we wouldn't accept it. Um, so this is ICMP, error reporting protocol for IP. Not nearly as important as IP, but it helps you to, to do these things. Questions on this?